What's up everyone, this is Dave LeClaire with MakeUseUp.com and today we're going to talk about an issue that plagues many iPhone owners. No, I'm not talking about Android Envy, I'm talking about heat. If you have an iPhone, you've probably experienced your phone getting warm and in occasion, you might have even experienced it getting hot. There is an important difference between the two as warm is a normal state that your phone will get in during use and hot is an issue. There are several normal situations where your iPhone will get warm, and as long as it stays in the realm of warm, you don't have anything to worry about. For example, if you're charging your phone and using it at the same time, you're going to notice your phone is going to not be room temperature anymore. It's going to feel warmer. If you're using GPS and navigation, it's going to get warm. If you're streaming a high quality video for an extended period of time, again, your phone is going to get warm. If you're setting up your phone for the first time and it's going through all of its processes in the beginning, it's going to get warm. If you're using certain kinds of apps like augmented reality or digital audio workstation or video editing, your iPhone is going to get warm because it is working hard. When your processor works hard, it expels heat, it gets warm. These are not necessarily things you need to worry about though. There's a big difference between your iPhone being warm and your iPhone being hot. When it's warm, you can basically keep using it until it reaches the point of being hot. So what's the difference between hot and warm? So your iPhone works at its best between 32 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is zero to 35 degrees Celsius. Outside of that range is where you're gonna start running into problems. So how do you know when your phone is not just warm, but it actually has reached the point of being hot? Like anything, like a human being, your phone will show some symptoms. So if charging slows or stops completely, your phone is probably too hot. A little bit, you might see it slow down a little bit when it gets warm, but if it gets to the point where you're looking at your phone and you're just like, I've been plugged in for an hour and it is barely moved, your phone's probably too hot, it needs a break, you need to get it somewhere cooler. Now if you have ignored the heat and you have let it get to the point of the, the screen going dim or going black for a certain amount of time, you probably need to do something because your phone is giving you ample warning. First it stopped charging, then now the screen is now going black. So you really need to cool it down or you're going to have some long term issues with your phone. Another symptom you might see is that your cellular radio actually goes into a low power state which decreases the quality of all your calls. And uh, sometimes when, you're, when your phone gets super, super hot, it'll actually alert you that the camera flash has been disabled because camera flash uses a lot of resources and a lot of battery. So again, in your phone's attempt to try to save itself, it will not let the flash work anymore. The next symptom is not exclusive to heat. It could be other issues, but if you can feel that your phone is physically hot and all of a sudden graphic intensive apps stop working, they start crashing, you can kind of put two and two together and figure out that the heat might be the issue that's causing them to crash. Now, if your phone is not hot and apps are crashing, you have a whole nother problem that you need to figure out. Could be something wrong with your phone. But if, if you feel the physical heat when you're holding it, apps are crashing, put them together, cool your phone down. Thankfully, your iPhone is a fairly smart device. And if things get really, really bad and it gets super, super hot, your phone will actually go into a low power state and then a warning will come up on the screen saying that you can't use your phone until it cools down. If you've reached this point, you've ignored all the previous symptoms and you may be doing some long-term damage to your phone. Now, I did mention putting your device somewhere cooler. I'm not saying somewhere cold. Don't put it into the fridge. Don't put it into the freezer. The sudden change in temperature will actually cause more problems for your phone. It'll cause condensation, which can cause your phone to have long-term damage. It could cause your phone to brick completely. So when I say put it somewhere cool, I mean somewhere room temperature. So if you are forced to use your iPhone in situations where it is exposed to heat, uh, there's a couple things you can turn off on your phone to help minimize the problem. It's still obviously, if you're using your phone in 100 degree weather because of work or something, you're gonna get some heat. But what you can do is you could turn off background app refresh, which uses a lot of resources and generates more power and more heat. So if you turn that off while using your phone in a situation that is warmer, you'll see less negative repercussions. You should also give your apps a once over and see if you have any apps that are consistently crashing in the background and trying to relaunch. If this is happening, it's using more resources on your phone, which again is making your phone hotter. You can actually go in your phone and you can check the analytics data to kind of get an idea of what apps are having problems and then delete those. Another thing you can do, which will actually be nice if you're finding your phone doesn't make it through the day all the time, is to reduce the brightness. Lights generate some heat, 
brightness generates heat, brightness uses more power, you use more power, you create more heat on your phone, your phone gets hotter, boom, it's a vicious cycle. Turn the, turn the brightness down a little bit, you'll save yourself some temperature. You'll also find that your phone lasts longer throughout the day, so it's kind of a nice side effect and a nice little bonus. So the last thing that can cause issues with heat is that your phone is searching for a connection. Generally, this happens when it's searching for a cellular connection, but it can also happen when it's searching for having trouble connecting to a Wi-Fi network. If your phone is constantly going in and out, in and out of signal, it is using a lot of power to reconnect to the network and then lose connection or reconnect. And doing so, it's generating a lot of heat. The only thing you can really do about this is put your phone into airplane mode. If you put it in airplane mode, it will stop searching for the signal and therefore it will save the heat and the power. Obviously, if you're in a situation where you have to use your phone for work or something and you're out in the heat, you're kind of going to have to just deal with this. You just kind of have to work with what you got. So take all the other steps that we outlined to minimize the heat as much as you can. So hopefully your phone will keep running for the long haul and not be too affected by the heat. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is Dave LeClaire with MakeUseUp.com. Make sure to go to Make Use of and look for all kinds of other iPhone and iOS troubleshooting tips. We have every article about everything related to iPhone that you could probably want. So if your phone is having a problem, just type in the old little search bar and you'll find something. Make sure to subscribe to Make Use of, follow us on all the other social media stuff, and we'll see you guys in the next video.